What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade basketball analysis coming out with a quick video. We are gonna talk about the Chicago Bulls and the fact that they eight and eleven with a chance to make it to the playoffs. And we are gonna talk about will they make it to the playoffs? Why they have been so good and what they can do to lock up a playoff spot. Obviously, they got off to a bad start this season. People thought that they they wouldn't be this good or they was done early, and they thought that. Billy Donovan wouldn't be a huge upgrade over Jim Boylan. And, you know, he has looked pretty good. You know, this defense isn't that great, and I didn't really expect that they would be great defensively because they just don't have the personnel to be a great defensive team, and they don't have defensive-minded players, which you do need people to put the passion and the effort to defend, and they just don't have that. And I don't think that will be changing unless they make changes to the personnel that they have. But when you look at the fact that they're one of the best offensive teams in, in the league, you look at the fact that Kobe White has been more consistent from three than he was last year, better from three than he was last year. You look at the fact that they have Laurie Market and Hilti, and he has been producing at a high level this year. And this was a year that was a contract year for him. He needed to perform better. He needed to show that what he was and what he can bring to the table. And I feel like he has answered that call so far this season. And I like the fact that he has been great from three. That was a question for him. Can he be a great three-point shooter? Can he be a consistent three-point shooter? Can he be a great off-the-ball player as he was drafted to be a floor space and big? And he has shown this year that he can do it. He showed it before, but he's doing it at the right time because this is the contract season. This is the season that really, you know, matters a lot for his career. And he has performed well. And this is a guy that didn't get an extension this summer or even in the fall, and it was mainly because of the injuries and what he can really be. He was actually known as a guy that people wanted to trade because he didn't live up to the hype that they thought that he would become, and he was on the trade block even though he was a young big that actually showed potential to be pretty good, and it is good to see him living up to that potential this year. I just hope he stays healthy and continue to do what he has been doing. And if he does, he's going to be an interesting player, not just for the Bulls, for any other team that's interested. And you should be interested in him. Wendell Carter has been fantastic when it comes to, you know, being a better player than he was the season prior, being able to get to the paint and finish around the rim and not have to rely on so many jump shots and setting the screens to be able to get guys open and get guys first steps so they can be better offensively and give them those space helping them create space so they can be able to get decent to good shots off and clean look at the basket. And the fact that he's shooting better from the field, he's averaging more points. He has been solid rebounding. His team in general has been a great rebounding team so far this season, and that's not a coincidence because they do have size and they do have mobility, and they should be able to do it, and they have been pretty decent as a rebounding team, as a team that passes the ball. You have a bunch of guys that like to create on that create um, shots by themselves on the perimeter. Not too many guys known for passing, but this team is one of the best um, assistant teams in the league, and you wouldn't believe it based off the personnel. You would think that it would be a lot of guys just scoring in isolation, but they have so many guys that can shoot off the ball and so many guys that can score off the dribble that it actually made them a team that can be you know, pretty dangerous when everything is clicking and everything is going. But, you know, this team has been pretty impressive. I like what they've been about. I like what they've been doing. I like how they've been playing. And even though I still might not have them as a playoff team, you know, there's teams like the Raptors, there's teams like the Heat that I still think can figure it out and be more consistent on both ends of the court. Um, that's going to make the Bulls probably a play-in team, which I really wouldn't be too surprised if they was. It's still one piece away to me to being a lot for the playoffs, but who will it be that guy? What can that guy um, bring to the table? Because when you look at this team, this team is far away from a championship team, and even when you look at the acquisition of Otto Porter, he has become a pretty great three-point shooter, which he has always been so far in his career in the NBA. He has gave him that guy that can, you know, do some things with the ball but not doing too much and being a guy that can, you know, be a bailout guy and be a guy that can really get no space in so that way they can operate in, you know, the pick and roll or even in isolation have that guy that 
it's dangerous um, if you don't pay attention or you collapse or hit too hard or rotate late. He can really make you pay. But not only that, um, Billy Donovan really has his team function. They look like they're under structure. They look like they have a game plan. They look like they have some type of identity. And to me, that just wasn't the case with Jim Boyd. And we just didn't know what they are. A lot of games, they was winning. Zach Lamine was willing them to W, showing you that hey, you can't stop or you can't guard them. And even though he's having a career year, he has gotten better every single year of his career. I think that's going to continue because he loves the game. He works hard. And at the end of the day, this is what he loves to do. And he looks forward to going to work. And you can see what the result. He tore his ACL. You thought he would be done. You thought he would look that good like he did his first year. Um, but he was able to bounce back, and he was able to come back and play at an all-star level years later. So I'm impressed with that, and I like that, and I respect that. Um, and Zach Levine, I'm proud of him for that, that, you know, he took something ugly like that and became the player that he is today. It did have a huge setback for him, but he has put in so much work that it didn't kill or destroy his career. If anything, he looks even better than he has ever looked. And it's because he continues to put the work in. So I'm proud of him for that. But in general, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of this Chicago team. I'm liking um, the offense. I'm liking the fact that they're confident. I like that they're playing well together. They're playing well off of each other. And they have put in a lot of work as a young team. And they have a lot of guys trying to prove themselves in the league. They have a lot of guys that's trying to show what they can do in this league. And they have a lot of guys that, at the end of the day, you know, are playing for their career because it could be over or it's called into question. Or at the end of the day, they haven't looked that good in their career. So I give them credit on that. So I'm proud of them. I'm liking what they're doing. I'm liking how they're competing. And I like the fact that, yeah, they got off to a bad start, but they didn't panic. They, they didn't make no major moves. They just stayed packed. They trust the process. They continue to stay there and encourage each other. And at the end of the day, they're in a situation where they can be a playoff team if they can string a couple wins together. Then they can have a legitimate shot at winning if they play 500 basketball for the rest of the season. Now we just got to see if they can stay healthy. We just got to see. If they can continue to play at this level offensively, because if you're not going to be a great defensive team, you have to be a great offensive team, and they have been that so far, and they have been winning a lot of close games. That's something that they struggled with last year was closing out games, but another thing they struggled out this year was being consistent offensively. Some games they were just so bad, and they didn't know what they was in some games they would blow somebody out. And this year, as the season progressed, they start closing out games better. They start holding on to leads better. And that's the growth and that you want to see in the team. You want to see them learning from their mistakes. You want to see them growing from their mistakes. And you want to see improvement and development working. And I think we have seen that so far with the Bulls. And that's something that I even noticed with them as the season has continued this year. And I'm proud of them for that. But other than that, you know, this is a growing season. This is a learning season. And this is basically a season where if you're the Bulls front office, you're seeing what you have, you're seeing what works, you're seeing what don't work, and you're seeing how Billy Donovan is he going to quit on the team, can he coach the team, is he improvements of the team, and can this team really win and play together. So far, they have done a little bit of both, but they haven't done them at a high level. They haven't done it at an efficient level. So now we just have to see, it just, it just real, is it fake? Or will they be able to continually do this? So let me know what you guys think. Check out my website, anossaplayeron.com. Link in the description, comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, anossaplayeron.com. Link in the description, comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. Thanks for everybody that likes on Facebook. Thanks for everybody that checks it out. Also, if you don't want to buy any merchandise, you can support this channel by liking and sharing. Liking and sharing allows this channel to be reached by more people and more people to see it the better the channel is. But if you do, I have my merchandise on my Facebook page in the description and comment section below. I also have my spread shirt in the description and comment section below if you want to support the channel by buying merchandise. Other than that, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Also, you know, check out my older videos. I have over 2,000. So if you like this video, if you like the other one, um, subscribe and become part of the family. And also, um, 
show love. If you think anything I said was crazy or wrong, let me know in the comment section below what you think. I read every comment other than that. Quinn Wade, that's my nonsense. I know. Enjoy all day and do your thing.